No way. <gasps> That's great. Oh no, say it isn't so. Not Howard Stern. Not the guy that spent the last five years saying some of the most vile, insulting, inhuman uh, things about Americans. Not the man that's lived in his basement like some sort of weirdo hermit. Not the man that still wears a mask every single place he goes. Don't tell me that the man who is the poster child for wig glue and boosters, don't tell me that he caught the coof. It couldn't possibly have happened. That's right, it did happen. And he's saying the line, and it just couldn't happen to a more piece of garbage human on the planet. Now look, I'll never celebrate someone having, you know, we all know now that he's made it out the other side of it, but he has kept this a secret because he is undoubtedly so embarrassed. He, he, it's probably time to go back to lockdowns. Hey, leave a like on this video if you're just totally bum that Howard Stern who thinks if you didn't get the jab that you don't deserve basic freedoms, hospital uh, attendance or allowed to be into the ICU. He believed basically you deserve to die in my opinion. Uh, if you're just heartbroken that he got the coof, make sure you leave a like on the video down below. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow and turn notifications on. I know it takes a second. It's kind of a pain in the rear, but this is an important year with the election coming up and I absolutely need everyone I can, I need to be able to reach you. Howard Stern finally got the coof back to lockdown. Howard Stern has been hunkered down in his basement for most of the past four years. He has a, he has, uh, he is, as he describes, terrified of the coof. Stern recently discussed an argument with his wife, Beth. It was over her decision to quote, just leave the house, increasing the chances she could bring the coof back into his secluded residence. Beth has a bunch of plans. She has like a wedding shower to go to and a lunch to go to with a friend for dinner and blah, 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 blah. But I can't get the coof, he explained. It's like he's holding her hostage or, or something. I mean, that's what it seems like. Stern, of course, has gone out to dinner with friends only once since the start of the lockdowns in 2020 per reports. Bill Maher recently admitted that while he and Stern are friends, Stern refuses to see him in person these days. I don't think I'll ever see Howard Stern again because I don't think he'll ever leave the house because he's what? No, you know, he's very, very, I don't want to judge, but he's scared of germs. Howard says the virus could kill him. Well, yes, it certainly could. That's not untrue. Um, but uh, so could a bolt of lightning. It's not just a cold from he claims. It'll probably be way worse. It'll kill me. But for four years, Stern has, after four years, Stern has finally tested positive for the coof. See if we can get through this show. We're supposed to be back last week. We weren't. Stern told listeners, I got the coof. Luckily, he didn't die. Stern is alive. He's still doing his radio show from his basement, and he's still hysterically warning about the dangers of the coof. I just want to announce something. It's the coof is really bad, he said. You don't want this. Oh, F. The general public didn't have much sympathy for him. Look, at this point, I would say that most people have had it. Many people have had it multiple times, and there's probably some people out there who have dodged it. Uh, this entire time, but nobody's afraid of it anymore. All right. Nobody's, you know, very few people are passing away from it unless they have like three or four comorbidities. Um, you know, I'm not saying it's not something that, look, I don't want to get it. I've had it twice and it blew both times. Here we have truth. Forgive me for laughing, but it's been a long time since Howard Stern has done anything funny dunking on him. Howard Stern has finally revealed why he was off air all last week, telling listeners on Monday they he caught the coup. If it's that bad, you know, I, I just don't know why he's that worried about it. I mean, he didn't even have to take a week off work. He didn't even have to take a week off work. You see this, Howard Cern got the coof despite spending nearly four years doing, quote, everything right to avoid getting it. As I love mentioning in times like these, I did everything wrong and I have not had it. Uh, Ian Dice Clay says Howard Cern has the coof. He's so scared of getting it. He never leaves the house. 
He never socializes and is terrified of any germs. And the poor old guy goes and catches it. I pray that his prostate's uh, quote, this is a quote that Howard Cern said. I pray that his prostate cancer spreads into his lungs and kidneys. And I pray to you, Jesus, answer my prayer. Stern said on his program about Sykes. I don't know who that is. I'm not exactly sure. I pray Howard Stern. <laughs> you know, so the, I, I don't know who this individual is, but the world is absolutely dunking on him. Everybody. I mean, this stuff he said. I mean, here's a, a meme. I did say the line. Of course, I've tested positive for the coof. My symptoms are minimal. and will continue to work from home while isolating in accordance with CDC guidance. And I'm glad to be fully up to date with the jab. That's what everyone, every um, jab pusher basically on the planet says when they get it. It was always funny. He lived in a bubble since 2020. Think about him now. Think about all the things he says, uh, he said about people uh, down this road. Now he's had it. He's obviously fine. And he's got to be, he's got to be at least quietly. All right. At least quietly, you know, maybe just to himself thinking, man. I blew four years of my life afraid of this. He's fine. He blew four years of his life absolutely terrified, living in a bunker, never seeing his friends, never seeing his family, ruining his wife's life, taking away her freedom. And he's fine. Not everyone was. Okay, I'm not going to pretend that people didn't die from it, all right? I'm just talking about him. I just want to announce, and it, Stern did not say that he, th you know, did not say how he thinks he contracted it. I went through heck. I've never been this sick. He was only sick for a few days. Stern also thanks those who developed the jab. What a wallop this thing is. Can you imagine if I didn't have the jab? Yeah, most of us know what it was like. Last September, Stern revealed that his paranoia over getting the coup led to arguments with his wife. I'm going crazy. My well wife yelled at me. Um, yeah, last year, Bill Maher's friend said that he'd never see him again. Uh, and you see this Stern has frequently lashed out at critics who accuse him of going woke, saying that he wears the title proudly and touting his coof jab. If woke means I can't get behind Trump, which I think that's what it means, or that I support people who want to be trans or that I'm for the jab, call me whatever you want. Of course, back in October, 2022, page six, revealed the first time that Stern removed from his, quote, apocalypse bunker and went out to dinner for the first time since the onset of the lockdown in spring of 2020. I mean, like, wow. For the, I mean, I feel bad for him. I, I feel bad that consuming too much CNN has obviously ruined this man, has completely destroyed him. But, like, you know... I don't think the thing that, you know, the, I don't feel bad for him because this is some of the things that he said. Okay. This is what Howard Stern has said. Howard Stern says that hospitals should ban anybody who doesn't get the jab. You're going to go home and die. That's what billionaire Howard Stern said about people that didn't want to get the jab. I think, you know, again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not going into why reasons why people want to do what they want to do, but they're entitled to do that. You see, if it was up to me, anyone who doesn't have the jab would not be even admitted to a hospital. At this point, they have been given plenty of opportunities to get it. Well, Howard, you have it, and I'm, I assume these subsequent 75 boosters and somehow you still got it? I suppose, what if he had gone to the hospital? Should he have not been admitted? Well, I guess he says because he got the jab, he could get in. What if his doctor doesn't have it? Quote, people have told me that you will pass away if you get it. Some will live, but most will pass away. These people don't trust our government. Look, I mean, I don't need to bring up the Tuskegee experiments, do I? Uh, I'm not like a deep... I don't go that deep. I know a lot of my viewers are more plugged into stuff like that and various opinions that people have. But for me, it was just like, nah, I'm good. Like, I, I feel okay. You know, I'm just not going to get it. I don't know enough about it, which is what I think most people felt like. 
But you have Howard Stern obviously also going viral that previous September after he called people who didn't have the jab imbeciles and to go F yourself, the radio said at the time. When are we going to stop putting up with idiots in this country and just say it's mandatory to get the jab? F them, F their freedom. Again, this comes from a guy who gets to work from home, has absolutely no requirements to leave his home, is a billionaire, again, and can do his job from home. Not like the most people, not that like the people that probably bring him his DoorDash, not like all of his staff that has to travel to his home to work, not like everyone out there who's working on the roads and picking up the trash. They didn't have that luxury of just staying home. I want my freedom to live, he said. I want to get out of the house already. I want to go next door and play chess. I want to go take some pictures. Literally, nobody was stopping Howard Stern from doing that except Howard Stern. Last week, Stern slammed tennis player Novak Dvorak. Div- I'm sorry, I'm sure, I div- div- I'm sure I screwed that up for being unjabbed and calling him an effing a-, a hole, the host added. They should throw him right out of tennis. I mean, Twitter, absolutely ruthless. Paul Joseph Watson became the latest celebrity to perform the laughable ritual of announcing and caught the coof before then thanking the jab. You see here, Howard, my man, if you're testing positive on rapid, whatever, even if five days have passed, you are still contagious. It's impossible that I got it, he said. I'm sure, I'm sure nobody around, I bet you his wife was like, look, I got to go out. I got to see human beings. You know, this guy is insufferable. And again, if it was his choice, I mean, look, if I had Howard Stern money, I probably wouldn't leave the house very often either. I got to be honest. But I sure as heck wouldn't be sitting here telling people that they don't deserve to go to the hospital or they don't deserve medical care or that they're a-holes or whatever, this, that, and the other thing. So Twitter is having an absolute field day dunking on this guy, and I absolutely am here for it. Tough break, Howard. I wonder if he's looking back now with deep regret that he wasted the last four years of his life. I suspect he probably is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please do follow or subscribe down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.